Hi guys, Lucy Lost It here again. Just wanted to say happy awareness day for Down syndrome, which was the other day. Some of you got involved wearing your odd socks. Now that kind of gave us an idea and we thought we would do games with socks. We've all got socks. We've got coloured socks, spotty socks, stripy socks, long socks, tiny socks. There's so many games you can play with them. You can roll them up into little balls. You could try and juggle them. Oh, you could even go on a scavenger hunt. If you've got children that are a bit more mobile, you could hide the sock from them, hide one of the socks, and they have to try and find a pair and bring it back. If you're brave enough, they could hide it from you and try and bring the socks back. You could put all the different pairs into a big pile and try and pair them up together to make a pair. You could also, if your child's in a wheelchair, you could maybe have a tray that's got all the socks on. Give you an example. And then they could try and knock off maybe just the coloured socks or they could push off just the stripy socks and try and push them off maybe into a target or into a tub or they could try and collect them and try and hold on to them. If your child's a little bit more sensory you could place different items inside the sock and they could put their hands in ooh, and try and feel what's inside even try and pull the thing out of the sock it's a lovely little thing there you could use the same sock as a puppet you could tie them all together and do a tug of war or even you could play this game called botcha have you heard of it i've made you a little video check it out Okay, botcha, this is how you play. You will need a coin. You will need a jack, which is a rolled up plain coloured sock. And then you need eight pairs of socks. That's four pairs of stripy for me. And that's four pairs of spotty for my opponent. Now you can play this in teams. You could play mums versus dads, grown ups versus kids, whatever you like, it doesn't matter. You could even, like me, play it on your own. So, first thing to do is to see who goes first. That's where the coin comes in. I'm going to choose heads. Oh, it's heads. I get to go first. Now, the person who gets to go first gets to throw the jack and one of their balls or one of their stripes. So, here we go. Okay, he's over there. I'm also going to throw one of my stripes. Now, the next team get to throw one of theirs, so they're going to throw one of their spots as well. That was a terrible throw. So now we've got one each. Now what happens is the person who is furthest away gets to throw all of theirs. So, by the looks of it, spots is the furthest away, so they're going to throw all theirs. Here we go. We're trying to get as close to that black one. That's better. And then it would be the next person's go to throw all the ones that are left. Because I'm stripes, I'm going to throw mine. Now the idea of the winner is whoever gets closest to the black wins. Let's have a look. Who is the closest? Oh, it looks to be... Oh, it looks to be this one. Looks like it spots is the winner. Now, if you are touching the black one, you get two points. If you are one that's the closest, you get one point. That is botcha. Have a go, it's really fun. Did you enjoy playing botcha? That was a great game, right? Now you can also play botcha kneeling down, you can play it lying on the floor, you can play it where you roll the, the socks down a ramp and see if you can get closest to the jack. You can pretty much play it at wherever you're playing from. It's a really good game. See you next time, guys.